What's good everyone? Uh, my name is Rams and yeah, we're back with another video with the M240i. Today we're gonna be trying something a bit new because uh, we are experimental and we wanna see what happens. So we're gonna be wrapping the roof of the car and we're gonna try and do um, the, the bars behind the kidney growth and we're gonna just see what happens. And of course, I've got my bestie to come help me. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we've been matching. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, cool. So, DIY. Let's see. Step one is gonna actually just be cleaning the roof. And then after we clean the roof, we're gonna use like an alcohol protecting spray just to make sure that there's no dirt on the roof. Yeah. We've watched a lot of YouTube videos, so we are now experts. What? Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, we can start. Okay, so for the first part of this job, I am just prepping the surface, cleaning the roof, making sure I get all the dirt off of the roof. And for this first part, I'm just using simple water and a microfiber cloth, making sure I get all of the dirt off the roof because you have to prep the surface because if you stick the wrap onto a dirty surface, it will not adhere to the surface okay i will also mention that i have never wrapped a roof in my life so i probably will make mistakes and if i do it's okay it's learning because at the end of the day i gotta learn how to do this stuff and i can't always depend on paying people to do things i can do with my own two hands And also, a big shout out to Kat's girlfriend. She did an amazing job as the cameraman. She took her job really seriously and she deserves a shout out for that because she wanted us to pay her, but we broke. <laughs> Just <wanky>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the wrap we're gonna be using. Uh, it's a gloss black vinyl wrap. I got it from GC Concepts. Um, apparently it's really good quality wise. It's the first time I wrap a car, so I don't know what's going on. So we'll see how good it is. Yeah. And he's my boy. Chica, chica, chica. Never. Chica. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna, awesome. we're gonna cut it down to size a so bit. Yeah, hope for the best. Okay, so this is the wrap I got. It's a gloss black wrap and I was told this would last up to five years. So we had to be really careful because this is really expensive. I think it's about 500 rand a meter. So there was very little room for error. It's a knife. It's a knife. Craft knife uh, that I'm gonna use she's laughing it's an inside check uh that i'm gonna use to just cut this i just got a rough estimate of how much wrap the roof is gonna need and then there's gonna be a bit of extra overhang just in case we make a mistake so that it's workable and we can account for any potential mishaps so yeah here i've got my little mark there so i'm just gonna follow the shot all the way down this to be straight okay so as you can see there's a little bit of extra wrap that um i've got left so my plan is to use that to do a chrome delete on all of the window buffers because i want this baby to be blacked out so now we need to figure out yeah we need to cut the hole, that hole here for the for the antenna and that one, it needs to be like a clean cut. It can't be a rusty no, cut. I, I, no, for sure, definitely. Um, let's just figure out but how. But we can only do it maybe like once we get here. But you know what I was thinking we can do? We can mark it off with the knife, right? Yeah, maybe it's not like X or so. Yeah. And if we're not getting that anyway. Nah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Right, cool. It was either that or. 
Yeah, yeah. Taking it off. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's let's figure out. How do they take these things off? No, nah, I don't think we should take it off. All the videos I've seen, they don't take it off. Yeah. So I think we'll be good. Okay, so. Okay, cool. So we're just gonna mark off the antenna. I don't wanna cut through it, but I'm just gonna mark it off with a little bit of a hole. Let's go a bit higher. And then now we know where the antenna sits exactly. And then we're gonna trace it out. Then we're gonna cut out the hole for exactly where the antenna needs to be. And hopefully, this works out. <laughs> nah, literally, hopefully. Yeah. But what do you mean? What do you mean? That X. Do you think we should do an X? Because most of the videos I see, they actually like cut out the shape. And Cat was absolutely correct here. We had made a mistake, and it turns out when we did finish cutting the hole, we had about one and a half centimeters clearance in the back and the front of the antenna to actually fit the wrap on because we cut it too small and when we fit it on it actually tore a bit which took away about an extra centimeter of clearance which is already too little but yeah we move uh, uh. So that's where it starts, starts there. and then it yeah. ends even lower. Yeah, shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then exhale with the So it, so I was about thinking about of a straight line. Wow. Okay. Okay, that also works. Right. Yeah. And then we just work with yeah, okay. then a little bit, just a little bit yeah. on like yeah. Yeah, we'll be that. Yeah, yeah, cross. Are you doing it now or later? Let's do it now. Okay. Yeah. And then just indicate it stops here. I have to just try and get it. Sharp. Okay, cool. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Something's coming together. Let's do a bit of a. Horizontal. I think that's enough. Okay. Great. And then you can do the outside. That's not fine. Yeah, that's fine. See. See. <laughs> okay, cool. That thing is so contagious. Yeah, it is, eh? Like I can be 35 years old. If someone says Sue, I'm gonna say Sue. Sorry. Okay. And mm -hmm. now comes the sticky part. Stop it. Get some help. See what he did there. Hello. Who are you saying hello to? Oh. There's alcohol in there. So try not to get drunk. What? Okay, so to clean the roof, we were using an alcohol-based disinfectant spray. Um, this is 70% alcohol and it works wonders. The roof has never been this clean. But unfortunately, this is where we had to stop because we live in South Africa and there's load shedding. So we couldn't actually use the heat gun to help shrink the wrap to the car. And we had to stop. The load shedding, if you ask me, was actually a real blessing in disguise. Because if you notice, as we were cleaning... We didn't clean the inside of the sunroof. Um, look at my concentration there. Mm. So there's usually a lot of dirt in there and we didn't clean that. So the wrap would have been entirely ruined if we did that. But yeah. Okay, let's go. The next part of the video is what I would like to call pain. Because as I was driving home the day before the M Performance breakfast drive and about a day before I was supposed to go finish the wrap with Kat, the car just said Christmas lights on the dash. Everything went wrong. I had to get, I had to take it immediately to a service center because yeah, it was not pretty. And yeah, this is me just explaining what happened a bit. And 
If you want me to actually make a separate video explaining what happened there, let me know in the comments, man. Yeah, but it it's not looking good, bruv. Folks, it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good. <laughs> you know, any normal person would give up on this car, but I, I just refuse to give up on this car because I genuinely love this car. But today, as I was driving, uh, in the morning, it was a bit damp, so I got a, a, a TP, TPMS sensor light. Cool, I got to work. You know, I'm used to those. Those are normal. And then in the afternoon, I was driving to, 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 to drop something off. And then as I was driving, I was like, let me balance out the tires. The, the light went away for a bit. And then I stopped to see if maybe they could, I could find someone to take a better look at it. Made no difference. Light just stayed on. But then I decided, let me unhook the battery, rehook it. Maybe that will force the system to reboot. Nothing. And then it got worse. Steering, power steering went. Christmas tree lights everywhere. Absolute mess. I didn't know what to do. And then I brought the car here to Beamer Boys in Ravonia. And hopefully they'll... Hopefully they're the ones that are gonna sort the car out. I was supposed to go ahead and get a haircut. And I'm just so mad because like tomorrow I was supposed to go to the M Performance breakfast drive. Cause I was, and I was planning on shooting like some really good content. So I guess we'll just have to wait to see when the next one will be. And that's what we'll do. But I've now resorted to not dealing with the dealership. I've, I've sent them a letter and told them that, look, I'm bringing the car to my own service provider. They're going to fix the car. I'm going to invoice them. They're going to pay. I'll collect my car. No long stories. Because it's clear to me they're fixing absolutely nothing. The shocks weren't replaced. The oil sump wasn't fixed. Nothing was fixed. And these are problems that can be fixed. Let, let me emphasize that. So I'm just hoping they come back to me with good news and it's just not the end of the world.